Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, and I'm still on a bit of a runner's high from that last episode. That felt really good uh, to take a uh, take a ship, have a really bad couple of runs, and gradually build into something really good. That uh, that was nice. Okay, so it is time for me now to do something else. Uh, we're going to be running with the Slug Cruiser. Now we did find out exactly how the Slug Cruiser works, or at least how the Bio Beam works. Uh, the, uh, ability in question, it's not the, uh, <laughs> uh, how to put it, the anti-bio beam, it doesn't deal damage when you move it to a room, like normal beams do. The anti-bio beam is, oh god, we're already taking damage, okay, uh, this is already gonna be a problem. I I'm gonna put it on the line here and say I'm already not gonna be able to kill this ship. That's already that's already a, a deal. Is I'm not going to be able to make this happen, which really sucks. Unless I get really lucky with my dual lasers, like right now. Yeah, uh, that's not going to happen. So the way the anti bio beam works is, yeah, you know what? I, I'm just gonna I, I'm gonna do this because this was a really bad start. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a reset, and we're gonna re go again. Uh, the way the anti bio beam works is it does damage as long as it hits with relative accuracy, because I've seen it, uh, I did a test run last night to uh, verify this. Uh, it has to hit with relative accuracy on, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> come on, game, come on. I mean, that's hit with rel relative accuracy, the red dots that the enemy, uh, that is the enemy. Uh, that's, I did not want that. Uh, that's, that's how it has to work. So, um, okay, you go attack this guy. So that's the way this works. So, um, what you have to do is, first we attack, get their shields down, and then you just have to line this up. See how I'm attacking two guys at once? Now, somehow it did miss that guy. I'm not sure what governs a miss here. Let's get you out of there, into there. Yeah, I'm not sure how misses work, um, but th that's what you have to do. Is you have to make it hit basically exactly on the actual person itself. Uh, I have seen it where it uh, didn't, like, it didn't hit exactly on and yet still seem to work. So I'm not sure what governs that. I'm not sure how close, like, how closely the pixels need to interact to make it happen. Okay, we got another one of these. Now, remember, I'm on the slug ship, and so because of that, uh, any breach that we get will basically automatically repair itself, uh, which is pretty fantastic. So, as you can see, it's automatically repairing itself down there. And now that we actually know how to use the bi anti bio beam, I have a feeling that we're going to be doing a lot better on this run than we have on previous runs, uh, or on the previous run uh, in this ship. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish killing that thing. Now, it is going to rely very much on a lot of factors, kind of as usual. Uh, I am going to need more, um... I'm going to need more crew members, because I only have two crew members right now, so I don't really have the ability to uh, send someone into the into the uh, engine room or the uh, shields room. And uh, both of those, being non-existent, are really going to hurt. Uh, in addition to this, uh, I do think that, um... Pledge to do what we can, get some free stuff out of that. So I got two quest markers I want to try to hit up. I'm not sure about that lower one. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Uh, let's try to be a hero. Let's attack these guys. Uh, looks like... Oh, that that uh, that Mark III laser is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm not sure if this was such a good idea now. But uh, we're going to see what we can do. And, of course, the dual lasers missing is going to cause some issues. I'm going to take some damage definitely here. Uh, you go fix that. You hitting with their dual lasers. Uh, what was I saying? Um, definitely gonna need to see some high power shields. Uh, definitely gonna need to see. Um, I, I heard some fire in those doors. Definitely gonna need to see uh, extra crew members. Um, crap, door control just went out. There's a lot of things I'm gonna need to see. And uh, not seeing these really, really mean. Uh, you know, opponents this early on in the game is also going to be uh, incredibly important for me. So let's see if we can take out their weapons and also get an anti-bio beam across these two crew members. I'm not sure if I hit that second one. 
Uh, so we're going to see. I'm going to disable the anti-bio beam for now, disable the dual lasers. I really shouldn't have this stuff on auto-fire. There's little to no point uh, in having that right now. But their weapons are right now offline. For the most part, uh, let's see if we can get these doors reactivated. Good. Okay, you get the hell out of that room. Close the doors. Let's go ahead and beam up against those two. I didn't think that would actually do uh, much, but uh, it was my uh, hope, and indeed that's exactly how it happened, uh, that it would uh, we'd be able to take out their weapons. Okay, so they're offering me six fuel and five missiles. I'm going to reject that offer just because that's... um. Nowhere near what I would want as a baseline uh, against, uh, or to actually, you know, make this work. Let's go ahead and smack these two one more time. Okay, I'm going to wait for this guy to get to his position. Damn, waited too long. Okay, so we're just going to wait for the dual lasers to go ahead and reactivate. And then we'll go ahead and finish this up. Don't think it's going to take too much more here. Just need to see one hit, and this should take out both of them. I am really incredibly surprised I didn't take out both of them. That's uh, that's amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dual laser to this just so I want to see if I can stop that guy. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Well, we're more than likely just going to destroy this ship rather than doing what I was hoping to do, which would be uh, just kill the crew. But that's fine. You know, we're going to get some more scrap. 13 scrap plus another 15 scrap. That's uh, actually quite wonderful. Uh, that allows me to get a uh, member to our baseline of what I would want out of a ship in uh, uh, First Sector is to reach uh, level 2 shields uh, at the very least. Remember, that's that's uh, baseline for me is uh, level 2 shields and level 4 engines. We just lost shields because uh, we're fighting this guy, okay? Well, I can live with that. I'm going to have some energy that I have nothing I can do with. Let's go ahead and launch a breach missile at their weapons and dual lasers at their shields, I think, is probably the best way to do this. Uh, that is a breach bomb. Okay, uh, it does damage the systems. Okay, so I do want that. Uh, we did just take some damage off these guys. Again, we're being thrown against... Actually, you... You over here. Because these guys are... This is absolutely stupid. Uh, the level of uh, power that we keep on fighting against. Uh, is that thing going to be able to stop that? Okay, we actually did uh, dodge that, which is uh, pleasant. Their weapons are still not offline? Thank you. That's going to hit anyways. Okay, so we got this epic level fire going on here. I'm just going to breach... Uh, not breach, but uh, vent everything and go from there. But uh, yeah, we keep on finding these really hard enemies really early on. And it's causing a lot of trouble for us. Uh, this happened in my uh, in my test run on this ship too, uh, fairly recently. So I have to, you know, I have to sort of believe it has something to do with the ship, or something to do with the number of times I've beaten the game, or how many ships I've unlocked, or how many achievements I've gotten, or something like that. I don't know, but uh, I have to believe it's something like that. Okay, so just two more hits is all that's needed to take this guy out. Unfortunately, we are at about half health. Uh, so far in Sector 1. We can definitely pull out of there. You know, we can definitely make it better, but uh, that's not really a good place for us to be this early on in the game. Go ahead and pump these points into that. And that should help me out tremendously. Probably should have put that into power, but, you know... You get back in this room. You get back in that room. That room. And we're going to go ahead and start jumping towards that quest marker. See if we can get something nice. This is exactly where I did not want to be. Uh, this is exactly the type of fight I do not want to be having right now. Now, I believe that with level 2 shields... Yeah, so we're going to be taking little to no damage here. Uh, which is, that's the good news. Is that little to no damage. It's going to take a while to kill these guys, though. Looks like I did uh, potentially miss the guy in the weapons. I'm not sure if that was a miss on my dual lasers or a miss on the anti-bio beam. But, um, let's see if we can just... There we go. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and try to take these Taku guys out with that. Chances are uh, the enemy ship is going to die to miss uh, to uh, asteroids before I'm actually able to take them out with anti-bio. Which would suck, because that represents a loss in scrap, but I'm not going to argue too hard on it. No! Yes, we did actually kill them. Okay, that is tremendous. Uh, that's amazing. I like that. I was expecting more damage, and not only that, but I was expecting to not be able to pull that off, so that's awesome. Okay, so we got some stuff. We got a human who I'm going to throw into engines. It's going to go ahead and get some points into power so I can start upgrading those engines so we can get ourselves up to, uh, looks like 20% uh, dodge chance is going to be that right now. What are we fighting right now? Okay, so not ideal, but, um, man, if one more asteroid would hit that, uh, hit those weapons. But it looks like we're going to be doing pretty well here just because of the sheer amount of asteroids attacking this thing. Uh, it's going to go down very quickly. Give me some more scrap. Should be able to get another point of power. And it uh, looks like I will be hitting my baseline uh, for upgrades for Sector 1. I'm still used to, uh, I don't know if use is the word. I'm still kind of reeling from uh, that run with the no ether, um, uh recently. Let's see, what do I need? Okay, I can get there from there. With no ether, where I was, you know, I had nothing leaving Sector 1. I had just level, I had level 1 shields, uh, and that was it. You know, I, I, I was feeling really nervous about that, so I'm kind of uh, appreciating that I'm actually going to get a little bit better off of here. Okay, let's see. Uh, Senator could help control the crowds. Get absolutely nothing out of that. Uh, I'm glad we didn't lose a crew member, but I was hoping we'd get something. Uh, you know, we're, again, talking about multiple, uh, multiple jumps with absolutely no bonus, and you guys know how much I hate those. I'm going to use the dual lasers on the cockpit this time. Uh, but I am aware of that, uh, where that drop shields. Okay, you get over here and fix that ASAP. Uh, actually gonna do dual lasers on the weapons. Which doesn't look like it's gonna help. Uh, let's go ahead and attack these two. Crap, we have absolutely no shields. Uh, actually, you just get out. And we're gonna open those doors and let that burn itself out. Uh, I am gonna take damage here. And that actually represents really, really terrible luck. Uh, and is the type of thing that I actually expect from this game at this point. Uh, yeah, I absolutely expect the sort of the game thing from the game at this point. I'm always seeing it. Uh, is a ship that, uh, or not even a sh just a ship that does this, but just bad luck, where my shields go down, then my weapons go down, then my you know everything goes down as fast as humanly possible, and then uh, I'm left to sort of pick up the pieces. Uh, lose everything that I should have, you know, all sorts of all sorts of good stuff. Let's go ahead and oh, can't upgrade my energy bars. That's right. Okay, take a little bit of drink here and then go up and get everybody healed up. So uh, yeah, not uh, not too happy right now uh, because we're gonna probably have to fight our way out now, which that's bad. Yeah, see, we should have been able to get out just fine. Now we have to fight our way out. And, uh... Not gonna appreciate this. We're probably gonna take a crap ton of damage. There we go. That's how I wanna arrange that. Probably gonna take a ton of damage. Yep, that just about fits what I was expecting. Uh, and that too. Uh, even though my shield should have been long since up before that should have happened. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, this is very much, uh, what I was expecting to happen here. We got 0% chance of evade. Okay, that's up now. Dual lasers. Still missing. Waiting for the charge right now. You know, uh, I was just sitting here with this really, you know, sitting here, 25% evade chance. We should be at least not getting hit by everything. I'm okay with being hit by, like, one or two hits every so often. But being hit by 100% of the shots fired at me, and then losing, uh, demoralizing. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we're going to leave it a, a very, very short one, uh, and I'll come back next time with the hope of getting something a little bit better. I will see you guys soon.